of my favourite film narratives are Limitless by Neil Berger starring Bradley Cooper and Robert De Niro and Focus by Glenn Ficarra and John Rekua starring Will Smith and Margot Robbie. Limitless follows the story of Eddie Mora, played by Bradley Cooper, a low-life failed writer who has recently been dumped by his long-term girlfriend because of his growing apathy for life and lack of progress and financial dependence. He discovers a pill called NZT, which gives him the superhuman ability to learn and analyse at a ridiculously fast rate and recall events long in the past. Throughout the film, his dependency becomes more extreme, which is reflected through the narrative. I find this film's narrative particularly intriguing as time lapse is used to represent Eddie's inability to account for the hours and his days as he increases his dosage of NZT. Fluorescent and fast flashing colours are used to blur all of the images around him when he is in extreme focus, which can be very disconcerting for an audience to watch as we begin to trip out just like Eddie. narrative isn't chronological as it jumps through time like Eddie experiences and I think this is why the film is so engaging as there is a certain amount of enigma sustained throughout and the audience have to work hard to piece together the events which Eddie is uncertain. The way this film uses Eddie's constantly changing character keeps the audience unsure what he will do next which sustains my excitement. The whole film is from his point of view so as he loses his memory we feel lost without his narration and we begin to empathise with him. Sound is also very effectively used as it becomes muffled when his dosage increases and the volume rises as his brain struggles to function which is reinforced by the fast cutting between shots and the quirky editing. Focus involves the experienced con man Nicky Surgeon played by Will Smith where he becomes romantically involved with an inexperienced grifter Jess Barrett played by Margot Robbie. As they conduct pickpocket operations together, many flashbacks and quick shot changes are used to show the audience how they succeeded. There is one particular scene when they con a big time gambler out of millions after Nicky convinces him to take part in a game of chance. It is revealed through flashbacks with a low colour grade creating an ambience of mystery how the con worked. Time lapse is used for a short few minutes to establish the length of time they instilled the data in the gambler's brain to lose at Nicky's game. The conflict between Nicky and the gambler is found through their similarities in suave, cocky and oblivious attitude and because they both see themselves as unbeatable the tension quickly heightens as the stakes rise. This is reflected in the fast paced audio which contributes to the audience's adrenaline. Nicky persuades the gambler that he is losing half the time before we, as an audience, know that he's bluffing. The narrative makes us believe in this using an anti-climax and by using slow motion fused with dialogue which is muted or its base heightened so that we believe his brain is spinning out of control and that his addiction to the game is becoming too extreme.